Hello everyone, my name is Barbara and I'm a Polish girl who lives in Ireland I like to knit and today I'm going to tell you about some knitting I have done. seen you for a week and I think that's a time to have a chit chat because I love watching for other, other podcasts and if you follow me on social media I'm knitting I love and so you can check it out that on Instagram in stories I like to post what I'm watching so if you're interested you can check it out I am just warning you you can see some I know what I'm eating or that I'm walking I um, join hashtag climb every mountain run organized by and break bear care bakery bears dan and kay and um, so that's really fun and motivates me to do stuff you can find my project page on reverly but you can also browse my website what i put some projects <laughs> that i've done so you can check it out you can find my little shop over there which is knittingilove.com slash shop and you can check out i uh, you can find some tags over there felted fabric tags pouches, keychains, coasters, and haha needles. Not a load of them, but check what I have available. Most of it is for hat knitting because I love hats, but I'm not only knitting hats. Okay, so other thing that you might be interested in is a timestamp. I'm going to put everything down below, whatever I can. If I miss something, just let me know under under there, under the co uh, in the comments, and I'll hope to go back to it and include link. One more thing. Oh yeah, I always forget to tell you that if I'm watching podcasts and you may notice that I'm kind of watch them in the quiet. Uh, fast speed uh, you I'm using this thing but it's here or there okay it's here uh, and you can click on it it looks like a nut I think and uh, you can see a word speed in there and you can speed things up if you want to or slow things down if someone is too fast for you now I think that's all so let's start what I'm wearing I'm wearing a sweater but we're cardigan actually but it is bought in the shop so that's that. Actually, it's a second-hand shop that I bought it in Poland. I loved it, so I had to have it. So if you own it, it's mine. If you have owned it, it's mine now. So that's it, what I'm wearing. It's nothing. It is a cashmere merino, so I fell in love with it. Okay, next, cows. Uh, I'm hosting one cow. It is a knitted hat cow, so you can check Reverly down below. And there is a thread knitted hat cow. I'll be drawing a winner from, I think, 401 or 601 uh, and I think it's from 601 to 1000 finished objects and we're having now 675 the last time I checked. So I hope you'll be adding more and don't forget to knit, crochet, uh, any hat counts. Um, remember just if you're knitting any of my patterns, I have some free and some paid for patterns, enter them twice. So yeah, I hope you enjoy that. Um, my latest design is River Flows hat. Bear in mind in the giveaway section. Okay, so what's off my needles? What's off my needles? I hope I post already a beautiful shawl by Justyna Lorkowska. It is called Dancing Palms Shawl and I love it so much. You can see it, how it looks over here and maybe I'll show you also some photos that Justyna is wearing it herself. And I run out of yarn, unfortunately, let's say it, but I'm a loose knitter. I thought it's going to happen anyway. Well, I, yeah, if it happens, that means it's meant to be. It's a faith. You basically this shawl is calling you to add an extra a bit of yarn. So I did, I actually used three three skeins, well, not all of them, but a bit, so you can see a lovely section. Go check that video if you're interested. I'm telling you loads of stuff about needles, gauge, what I did, and why I think I messed things up a bit, but I think that just gave that shawl a bit of an interest or like a personal, signature personal touch that uh, if you find this shawl anywhere in the world you will know it's mine in case I lose it I hope I won't I kind of planned it to finish for m on my birthday oh March is my birthday so I want to thank everyone for wishing me happy birthday and I'll tell you more about stuff like that in a while hopefully I won't forget wait I wanted to finish on my birthday but I missed that one section that it was on the third column and I had to have another knit 
uh, during that day on the 6th of March, I think. So I haven't finished on the 7th, um, but I blocked it. And today, which is the 10th of March, I did tassels and I put them on. So that's that, so I haven't finished. And I'm going to take this show to Edinburgh. Yarn festivals, I'm going, so let me know, are you going too? I'm planning to go there as, uh, from perspective, of meeting everyone and seeing everyone that I'm watching and if you want to see me because you're watching me say hello to me I'll be thrilled I don't know what I'll be wearing I don't think that's the most important thing anyway but I'll take this shawl because Isabel Rokowska is going to be there as she will be in the booth with Martin Labs and that's her husband and I've never used that yarn so I'm planning to buy some anyway uh move on and that's the yarn Isabel actually used Martin's Labs, so check it out if you haven't. Uh, beautiful. What else? Do I have anything? Oh, yes. I'm trying to do the tutorial and uh, the second hat for free for you, and I'm looking at my gauge. So, so I've showed you already, already my one that I'm using, so it's, I don't know where it is. And I knitted those two when I showed you, and I have knitted now another one <laughs> with my yarn, well, I just dyed it, so I wanted to enter it. Oh, I haven't entered it yet to Grace's um, Paddy's Day cal, uh, so I can enter it because she any yarn that was dyed in Ireland counts. So I am in Ireland, and I even though I'm not a dyer, I dyed it, so it counts. Or any green yarn will count to her cal too. You need to enter. So I knitted this hat. Maybe I'll put it on. And I used slightly, I used four more stitches than the pattern is telling. And it looks like this. I'm more of an old size. So what I'm going to do, I'm going in the pattern, write it down that you can cast on as many stitches as you want, but then it will be a one row of, uh, what you call it, preparation for decreasing. And that'd be fine, I think, then, for everyone to understand. No tag yet, hasn't been blocked yet. I love this color. I have one skein in my shop, so if you're interested to buy it, go che check it out. I'll be thrilled. I know it's not a big update or anything like that. I love it. Just one skein. And I knitted, I showed you those two, and that will be an extra. They're ready to be packed and gifted, and that will be my Christmas gift. In. Christmas knitting gifting thing. So you can see over here my fabric tags. So if you're going in my shop, check what they're made of. These are the long ones. So there is something on the other side. I love it so much, it's so cute. And this one has stars. They're in a set so you can see exactly how they look like. I think that's all I have finished. Oh no, I finished socks. So still in regards to this hat, I do not have finished object video yet because I would want to have it done once I have the tutorial on. So you may wait for a bit for that until I'm happy whatever I have. So as you're probably aware from the last episode, I was showing you these socks. I call them love song socks. I call them that way because the design is fine for females, like males, uh, I presume, and there can be gifting, gifted during Valentine's Day. I actually knit one pair before and that's why I called them. People were getting back to me in regards to the pattern and I thought, well, I'm going to write it down, uh, which was not as simple as I thought it's going to be, just saying. And because I wrote down the pattern, some errors, I put them to test knitters and they were looking through it and they were knitting their own socks. So you can check that hashtag love song socks. And you have a test knitter and you haven't hashtag it, please do so everyone can see your lovely socks. I was knitting with them a pair of two and I did this one. And just to make it fun, one has a pattern in the back and the wall and the other one doesn't have it with this these socks i also made a tutorial in regards how to insert after thought heel when you do not use a waste yarn and you cut your yarn i know it's not for everyone it's a method that you can use i like this method because you can 
knit a long tube and then decide that someone is worth it to knit a socks for them uh, or not and you can change your mind and you can place the heel somewhere else and you wouldn't be able to do that with a waist yarn when you put a waist yarn. Second of all, it's such a trill kind of being a bald to cut yarn. I like that too. And and third one, just two things that I think personally they're different from perspective when you insert the waist yarn. Um, try. I will pull the link to the tutorial down below. What yarn I used? I love Drops Fable. I know it's cheap, but I love the texture of it. It's very woolly sensation. Um, comparing to any hand dyed yarns and I love it kind of rustic feeling a bit um, so that's why and this color is 115 and 112 just in case you're looking for it I think there is a sale now and I knit them on US size 1 which is 2.25 millimeters 2.25 millimeters needles and 80 centimeters they're my cheap Amazon needles in my lovely beautiful Silent Forest knitting a love pouch green. And the bag by The Curious Needle. I think that's the one. And my keychain sucks. Okay, that's what I have done, that's what's off, and let's move on to what's on my needles. I have two things on my needles, but I have more, but the ones that I'm working on and something that I'm actually made the swatch, it's just the swatch is still soaking and I should be stretching it, so I'll leave that. I'll show you two things. First things first, Facts by Diane, lovely, and what do we have over here? A hat. So now, during my birthday, I was a little bit bold and on Instagram, I gave you 20% off for my, all my patterns, so you could grab it. So thank you so much for purchasing them. Um, with the discount and without a discount. Thank you so much for such a support. And the second thing that I wrote down, because I wanted to list any designers I know, that if they could give me a pattern during the birthday, I would be thrilled about it. And the only designer that got back to me was Nordic Stitches. Hi Lil! And she gifted me amazing... She gifted me one of her patterns. Well, uh, I asked for a Nordic Delight beanie and she get, gifted me a collection. So I'm knitting the number one. So on the screen now you can see it. Lil is wearing it. She lives in Norway. Uh, check her. She has a podcast, Nor uh, Nordic Stitches podcast. She puts more vlogs so you can check the surrounding area, what she does. She's a designer, obviously. <laughs> and I'm knitting her hat. Okay, first tools I'm using. I'm using what the pattern tells you to use 3 millimeters and to use 3.5 millimeters, which I'm talking about US size 2.5 and US size 4. And um, you can see I have started. Beautiful, beautiful. Here is my uh, Silent Forest pouch. And this yarn is. This amazing blue, I received it once as a gift from Diane, spoiled me rotten. And this is it, I do not know how to say it, so please check the screen. Color Mouton, <laughs> probably butchering everything. We have 75% Merino, 15% Cashmere and 10% Soye, I don't know, it's all in French, so I presume nylon. <laughs> Uh, 365 meters, which is 400 yarn, yards, okay? On the back now you can see everything and the color of it is, check it out, okay? Please check it out because I do not know how to read it. Beautiful, beautiful, very special skein and very color than drawn lately, right? Blue. I don't know why. So the needles I'm the needles I'm using over here would be three millimeters. Um, what needles I'm using? Okay, three millimeters needles I'm using over here. Hi hi, it's interchangeable. You can check that in my shop. But for three point five, I do not have them in my shop. So that's four mini. That's a US size four. I don't have them in my shop, but I own a pair of uh, Knit Pro. So I'm using them. And with the Knit Pro, you have them in different colors, so you know that the lighter green is 3.5, darker green is 3 millimeters. 
just say. So I have it all here and this is fingering weight yarn so I can clip it through. Some even worse it works for me to clip it through so I'm happy with that. If not I'm using long, longer, sometimes longer uh, stitch markers with a loop and I can clip it too for hats. What other yarns I'm going to use? I'm going for color work from the main part I'm going to use, I'm sorry, I'm going to use this, I'm going to use a, this yarn which is Hedgehog Fibers Sock Yarn and we have over here 100 gram which is 400 meters, 90% superwash merino, 10% nylon and the color is ink. I knitted already a hat with it, Janice hat and it's, um, you can find it under Hedgehog Fibers project page, that's actually one of their designs. And maybe on the screen I put the hat how it looks like so you can see it. Although that hat to knit it you use um, fingering weight but you hold it double. And because there are a few things and bits that um, you need a different color I'm going to use uh, this. This color I received from Grace, the Bubbles Traveling Yarns. During our walk I get her out of the house uh, by saying that I have a few minis and we can meet halfway through. So uh, she had some minis for me too. And this beautiful blue, it was one of them. I don't know what it is, but I'm adding it. So that's what I'm knitting in regards hats. I know I promised you to cast on something with this. Uh, actually, during my uh, knit night with Grace, I have met um, a local knitting designer, and maybe I'll give a shout out over here, which is Stephanie. I don't want to butcher her surname, so here on the screen you can see what she's up to. I bought her one of her hat patterns, so I'm tempted to, and the one I bought, maybe on the screen now you can see, because I forgot the name, um, maybe to knit it with this. This is a Superwash Merino wool 100%. Um, so we shall see. One hat that I bought was paid for pattern, but the second one is for free. But we were busy chatting and I haven't paid attention to how the other one looks like. So I don't know which one I'm going to knit and I don't know when I'm going to knit it, but I'm just telling you that I'm tempted to do that. <laughs> That's in regards hats. I have an idea for a hat for design, but at the moment I want to chill out a bit and knit other designs, so uh, I think you're going to forgive me that. Maybe I will do some socks design, you never know. At the moment I'll have something on my needles, that's socks. Oh, this beautiful, that's not, that, that's the project bag. I received this bag um, from a viewer, Suzanne, thank you so much, I love it, I use it, perfect. And the thing what I'm knitting over here is, uh, I told you it's a sock, but it's also gift knitting. So, I wanted to use... I don't know, can you hear it? Okay, I wanted to use different yarn, but it looks like that 250 grams of two separate balls, even though the colors say state the same, they're not the same. So I took and this yarn, which is... On the screen, opal, we have color 9366, I think. Fresh and juicy. You can read it down there, yeah. Uh, we have over here, I think it's 7520 as usual, and it's a wa uh, super wash. 100 gram, 425 meters, so more than a standard. I like the texture of uh, opal yarn too. Uh, they're more expensive than drops, obviously, and, and you have to cake them. Not really a fan of that. Um, so it took me a while because I wanted to have them matchy-matchy, so once I divide the ball, well what I normally do, I cake it, 100 grams, and then I pull this uh, middle section and I just divide it to another 50, so I like this. Then I pull the centers and I'm trying to find the same section. Be aware, sometimes when you see dark grey doesn't mean it will be followed with the same colour in the other one, just pull more. And as you can see I had to pull that much in one from one ball and, in a, and that much from another. And I hope I will be getting matching socks. Yes. For the heels though, I'm going to use um, this colour. If you haven't, if you started just watching me and you haven't seen my finished object video in regards to socks, don't go check my playlist. You might may find some lovely colours that um, over there, old patterns, soft patterns. And I used, I was asked to review Wool and the Gang 
sock yarn, kind of magic socks. So I did that and I had some leftovers because the size I knitted was for like um, US, um, U UK 6 or European 39. So I have still more uh, to go and I'm going to use that obviously uh, for heels. If knitting, um, to be honest, I think for whoever I knit, no one is watching my videos, so I can tell you. So these uh, will be for my husband. Yes, he does not watch, but he will be in Edinburgh, so you can say to him, hi. <laughs> so what do we have over here? Here is my Christmas pouch, and I'm going to use it for all my gift knitting projects, so that way I know. And to make it more fancy, I just made some progress keepers. I hope you can hear their bells. So what I did, I was watching Becker Bears, P-E-O-P, P-O-P, sorry, P-O-P. Um, I'm a bronze patron. I'm thinking of kind of going up to silver. If you guys love those P.O.P.s, which is a live on Facebook, I think, where you interact so you can ask questions and stuff like that. And I love them so much. They're such a cute couple. Um, and I'm knitting socks for Seb on oh, US size 1, which is 2.25 millimeter needles. This is interchangeable, high high as you can find these in my shop. So separate tips and cable. So check them out. So read carefully what cable you need for what tip. Oh, and that will be just plain vanilla, relaxing 64 stitches with the afterthought heel, obviously, just in case. Yeah. Why I also like afterthought heel, maybe I'll say that. That's maybe the third thing. Sometimes, because I don't check gauge, when I knit socks, I can ask Seb to wear it. And normally when you place the heel is where your ankle is. You know that bone sticking out on the side on your, of your foot? You just put a straight line and that's where you should place your heel. Just saying. Well, anyway, that's what I'm doing. Is it right, wrong? Let me know down below. So uh, vanilla socks I knit when I have a five minutes here, 10 minutes there. You're asking me how on earth I can knit so much. Well, in my life, luckily, I have at work or even at home situations that I can sit and knit. Like for instance, my husband cooks and my husband cooks, so I'm spoiled. <laughs> I'm more as an assistant cook. I can chop things and help, but overall he does that check Instagram. I'm posting sometimes stuff and if I do that, it's not me unless it's stated that I'm doing it. So yeah, spoil button and um, yeah, breaks, five minutes here, five minutes there. And I think that's all in regards to what's on my needles. Giveaway section for giveaway. I love designing stuff and I'm not, I know <laughs> that I'm not the best designer ever, but I love my hats, love my project and I'm so happy when I see when you're knitting them. It's like, the best things ever. So um, yeah, so if you want to make a present for me for my month, uh, birthday month, you can knit one of my hats. Don't forget to enter Cal and hashtag me that you're knitting them and it will make my heart sink. Sing. <laughs> it will make my heart sing. If you're willing to support the channel, you can always buy Paid for Pattern. Um, if you have any questions, send me an email in regards to patterns or on Reverly message. Thank you so much. And if you find any errors, and I know in my old patterns, well, not errors, it's more uh, technical descriptions. You know, so in a few patterns I have to change that because when you have stars, everyone knows it's repeats. But sometimes I'm just, I wasn't so focused or presume it's fine, you don't have to finish. And repeat that until the end of the round. So yeah, I probably would have to add that. So whoever sends me a message that you find something, please do. I will reward you for that with any patterns of your choice. Because you never know. I know I have test knitters. I know and we're just humans. So please do. I will be updating some from that perspective. Not that something is wrong in a pattern um, in a while. So you may notice that too if you purchase any of my patterns. Or you can help me up and even speed things up and tell me even. So that will push me that direction to sit down and do it. Now, giveaway. So last episode I, I was... Um, I said that I'm giving full of Mimi's hat. I love this hat. This is amazing hat. And maybe I know where it is. I'm going to show you. So here is a picture how it looks like on a finished object video. And here it's on my head. 
voila. I love it so much and I know you love it so much too. Thank you so much for knitting it and showing it and buying pattern. It is 120 gram fingering weight hat. Even though you're knitting with fingering, it have a bulky sensation, okay, and bulky warmth. Um, so just saying, 24, you can use 24 5 grams minis, or you can use two colors and have fun with that too. So you need more than one skein. Ta-da! So who wanted? I haven't, normally I do it during the video, or lately I'm, I did that before the video, that a random comment picker was picking a person. This time I'm going to do it after, so I don't even have a clue, but now, I'm going to put on the screen who won and I'm going to say congratulations and let me know on Ravelry that you won this amazing pattern. I'm going to send it to you, well, gift it to you. So congratulations, thank you so much for this episode. I was thinking I'm going to give Forever Flows hats. So this is the one, so check it out. If you're interested to be in part, in a draw, just comment down below. Suggest anything you want down below in regards to what I've been knitting, what I've been saying. I can bet you you have a few things to say yourself. So please do, or I like to do, and pull up the book. And the book I'm talking about is this one. So what I want to do, I'm opening and I'm answering and I'm asking you to answer too. 99 things that bring me joy. Ta -da! 22 things you think are cute. In regards to knitting perspective, I would say hats. Because not only if you knit a hat for a baby or a toddler, they will you look cute, but I think that if you knit a hat and you put it on an adult, that adult will look cute too. And I think that's a that's something that you can say wearing a sweater or depends or shawl. But with a hat, I think you do say that. Okay, completely random thought. I don't know, what do you think? What, what's cute? <laughs> Let me know down below. I learned something from this one. So yeah, that's it. Uh, in regards to uh, my birthday, my big thing and celebrating birthday will be in Edinburgh because I'm at the age of 35, just in case you're thinking what how old I am. So I'm 35, just saying again. And I have a rule for the last few years that if you're 20 plus, you're entitled to two days birthdays and if you're 30 plus you're entitled to three days if you're 40 50 over 60 you know the drill i'm going to have an amazing time in edinburgh for three days well in scotland let's say that two days definitely edinburgh so say hi to me on thursday friday i'll be definitely there from 10 o'clock to half past five because that's opening times for the edinburgh yarn festival so i'll be there unfortunately i haven't got a ticket for any knit nights and stuff but if you want to invite me or um, so let me know i know on thursday i may visit uh, spend some time with my cousin uh, so that'd be really cool i haven't seen her for the last 13 years yeah i think that's how long we haven't seen each other uh, so that'll be interesting and i think it's going to be fun uh, so yeah i don't know is there anything else i should say or oh, i missed probably i missed go check my instagram you'll know everything i hope you enjoy this one see you next one don't forget to use hashtag knitting i love show me what you're knitting check the link down below um for anything you heard over here i'm not linking to everything i say but if you want to and you'll ask me i will definitely would not mind to add something there so uh yeah i hope you enjoy this one see you next one bye oh yeah one more thing i want to publish my pattern love song sucks soon it's going to be a paid for pattern but until the end of the 31st of march i want to have it for free so if you're watching go and grab it i hope you're going to enjoy it bye yeah.